Welcome everybody, this is Katie from OCD Illustrated, and I'm going to continue talking about cognitive distortions. Okay, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen this card before. It's just our definition. Definition of a cognitive distortion is an unhelpful, inaccurate thinking pattern, and they're really common in people with mental and emotional health issues, and they contribute to feeling pretty crummy. So there's a whole variety of cognitive distortions, but I'm just focusing on one today, and that one is all or nothing thinking. This distortion has a couple other names. Sometimes it's called black and white thinking, and sometimes it's called either or thinking. Regardless, the definition is you categorize events or people or any other thing into one of two opposing categories. So think about black and white. Black and white are opposites, right? But there's all these colors of gray that are in between. So if somebody is using black and white thinking, they categorize everything as black or white and don't recognize all the gray in the middle. And when they see a gray, they choose, is it more black or more white? I'm going to do my examples a little differently. Rather than giving a specific situation, I'm going to really focus on a visual representation of the change between spectrum thinking, which is more accurate, um, where something's on a scale and you can mark anywhere in the middle, um, to either or thinking where you are choosing one or the other. So on the right there's my mark appropriate spot on scale and on the right we're gonna have a check appropriate box. Okay, so good and bad is a spectrum. If we take them to the extreme we can have, I don't know, like heavenly versus evil. Um, but now pretty much everything is in between. So if we view it like that, where there are two ends of a scale, we have the option to see that most things fall somewhere in the middle. However, somebody who uses all or nothing thinking sees it more like this. A set of checkboxes. Things are good or they are bad and there's nothing in the middle. And you just have to pick. Is it good or is it bad? Um, and they miss out on seeing that pretty much everything is a little bit good and a little bit bad in some different ratio. Do the same thing for like smart um, versus stupid. Most people, most things are more intelligent in some areas than in others and would fall somewhere in the middle of that spectrum. Someone who uses all or nothing thinking on the other hand. All that space in the middle between smartest ever and stupidest ever and be forced to decide do they think it's smart or do they think it's stupid. Um, and you know People with depression probably are more often labeling themselves stupid and then they feel bad and it's like, no, there's some things you're good at and there's some things you're not. That's how everybody is. And we can do the same thing for any other two opposites. So the last one I've written out is useful versus useless. Now if you've been watching my videos, there's probably some things in them that you find really useful and some that you find not so useful. And overall my videos fall somewhere in the middle. But if somebody's using all or nothing thinking, they're going to categorize my videos as either useful or useless. And if they're useful, they maybe watch every single one. And if they're useless, they never watch them again um, and miss out on some of the useful things that could have happened. Um, yes. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to, to watch this video. Um, please do know what parts of it you found useful and what parts of my uh, channel you find useful and what parts you wish I would change because I will definitely respond to your feedback. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.